Some people, once they get into this fragrance space, they get all snooty. Y'all be forgetting about the freshies. I know I do, but we gotta reel it back in because we seem to forget that the freshies started this whole compliment game. It wasn't these dark, boldy, oody fragrances that started getting the compliments, no. It was the freshy component, and that's what I want to reel back in. I wanna put you onto 10 deliciously amazing freshy fragrances with some curveballs in here that you need to start rocking today. Summertime is approaching, your balls is gonna get extra extra musty, your asshole is gonna be sweating in ways you didn't know it can come out of that orifice. And remember, the freshie was the original compliment getter. So let's bring that essence back with these 10 and one honorable mention, so technically 11 fragrances in the fresh space that will trigger that aromatic memory that you're looking for. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to 10 sexy freshie bangers for you to wear today. <laughs> Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, c 3 b 3 a Don't forget to go to mrcubano.com for all your Cubano needs. Influence merch is up there. Jewelry boxes. I'm going to be throwing out accessories galore. I even have a limited edition flight jack. Yo, you got to see this. Fam, the Cubano Collective Influence It flight jacket in this crazy purple, which is my favorite color, color of prosperity, money, regal vibes. Yo, what you know about the Cubano flight jacket in super duper limited release? So if you're interested in this, I got a couple in size extra large. Tap in with the kid. I make accessories for people who like swag. So let's just jump into this list, shall we? The first one I'm gonna start off with is the honorable mention. This is an OG fragrance that for me doesn't smell dated and people seem to forget about it because they move on to the latest and greatest thing. But let's not forget the ones who got us here. This fragrance was a monumental staple piece back in the day for all young dudes to go out, party, daily wear, signature scent. One of the monsters in the freshy space that can still hold weight right now. Tell me I'm wrong about Burberry Touch. Tell me I'm wrong about Burberry Touch. The citrus is in here, that orangey vibe, that violet leaf, that woodiness, that super duper sex appeal, freshness on a budget, tell me I'm wrong. Bro, that sick, bright orange, that dryness, that vetiver vibe, that violet leaf, that pepper, that musk, that freshness, that sexy vibe, that youthful energy, that daily wear, not offensive, still holds weight right now scent. This shit is like 20 bucks somewhere. You gonna tell me that this wasn't a banger? Are you bugging? Let's get into the list. Nobody. Nobody is going to expect this fragrance in this list. This is some triple OG shit. Older than the Burberry Touch, in my opinion, as this was one of the first fragrances that I stole out of my grandfather's cabinet to wear, and I never experienced anything like this in my youth. Jesus del Pozo killed it with this scent profile, which is a legendary scent, and that's Quasar. Quasar. This joint is an incredibly well-balanced aquatic fruity scent profile with the note of banana leaf in it. That banana leaf doesn't add so much of a fruity fragrance, adds more of a banana leaf greenery herbal kind of component, but there is another fruit cocktail mix in here that is beautifully balanced with the florals and woody cedar vibe that's at the base. This joint is incredibly beautiful. Wow, what a throwback. I don't know how difficult it is to find this scent profile, but in going through and selecting the fragrances for this list, I was like, damn, I wanna pull something out that's exclusive, that's a banger though, like that. You're not gonna see on anybody else's list that really separates you from the entire crowd when it comes to that freshy space, and it had to be Quasar. This joint is freaking legendary, and honestly, Brings me back to my OG. My grandfather, the original one who started my infatuation with fragrance. This is in memory of you, OG, and this shit still holds weight and is an amazing, amazing scent profile in that freshie space. Next one. Amber Gin and Powderiness is the name of the game in this freshie, and that's Gypsy Water by Byredo. La da dee da da, la da dee da. Ugh, fuck. 
ultra powdery, beautiful gin note, nice amount of greenery. The amber in here is sweet and sexy and dark. It gives it body. But then the greenness in here also adds that beautiful element of freshness along with the powdery vibes and the beautiful airiness that's under this fragrance. It's got a smooth, silky creaminess with a mild amount of spiciness off of my skin, but really what shines is the powdery vetiver vibes as well as that gin note. This is a gorgeous scent profile, beautiful freshie that will dictate how the rest of your day is gonna go. This is kind of like that energy like, I put this on to establish what fit I'm going to wear. Usually it's the fit and then the fragrance, but in this particular case, it's like I'm gonna put this on and this is gonna guide me throughout the day of what I'm gonna be rocking. So Gypsy Water is a Granada in the fragrance freshie space. Next one. When we're talking about freshies, how are we gonna remove the aquatic vibes of that chrome puro? That pure Blanco, and we're not talking about that pure Blanco. Orange, tonka bean, herbal. Not to mention the aquatic -y blueness about this fragrance, which is what adds that element of freshness, right? But this shit isn't just a blue, freshy fragrance. I would say more so it's like, secondary to the tonka bean and that cedar and that musky vibe. This shit right here is crazy. Chrome knows how to pull freshies out of the woodwork, but they always add this element of sex appeal to their freshies that kind of deviates from that boring DNA and makes it a little bit of lively. They, they keep a format that works, adding a little bit of a twist, adding that hitch to the giddy up, as I like to call it. In the notes, it indicates it has that mate, and I have a little bit, when you start to diagnose it, like Cubans drink something called mateba, which is a yeba mate soda. So there's a little bit of that Yeba mate kind of fizziness that comes along with this fragrance that adds a little bit of more familiarity to me and an element of different to this watery, freshy, aquatic kind of scent profile. I find this to be extremely well performing in the hot weather and a beautiful freshy that's on a budget, fam. Next one. Next is that boozy freshy with that new Killian Blue Moon Ginger Dash. The shit's got booze, it's fresh, it's bright, green. But the couple of times that I've worn this fragrance, what it starts to do on my skin is really become more of a cocktail infused ginger sensation. So it feels like you took like pure ginger stems, cut off the nubs, let the ginger truly expose, dip it in a vat of like Russian Farska, Ruski standard triple distilled and shit, let that shit marinate for like three and a half months, then you spray that shit on yourself and start to garnish with like citrus components and this greenery vibe. What this shit didn't slack on was performance actually. Performance is subjective on everybody. Most people, most adults don't really give a shit about the performance factor, they'll just reapply it. Others wanna go for like a 15 hour grenade and that's cool, whatever. Me, I don't give a shit, bro. As long as the shit smells fire, if I can take it with me, if I gotta reapply or depending on the scenario, I could play with a performance factor as long as it's not some shit that lasts like 30 minutes. This one is doing actually quite well off of the skin, surprisingly enough, but the booze here really comes off deliciously vodka-esque and that Ambroxan obviously adds, adds to that overall sex appeal and mass appeal quality that we're looking for in a scent profile. Some people may find this fragrance a little bit too expensive based on the scent profile, but you gotta know what you're getting when you get into the house of Killian. I don't feel that this is boring or basic bitchish. I find that actually quite fun and very sexy for the hot weather. So that blue moon ginger dash, I'm definitely spraying on my balls. Next one. Speaking of freshy bombs, beautiful surprise, funky looking bottle, but that D and G summer vibes, that light blue crack. Yo, this joint is just smooth, citric, smooth, buttery, powdery, sexy, lively, energetic, summertime, fresh out of the shower, shorts, white linen, boat shoes, no socks, fresh haircut, tight beard, off the coast of the Amalfis, near a huge body of water, on a yacht, romanticizing about the life that you used to live, but now you've progressed into a life of success and opulence because you put yourself there, you work that grind. You know what I'm saying? This is that super duper sexy scent profile that's uber bright. And I thought it was going to be shit. I expected it to be dick. I mean, I'm enjoying more of the flankers in this light blue space than the original. The original I thought was bullshit. No matter how many units that shit sold, how popular it was, I thought that shit was meh. This joint is not that at all. So, so far between this one and that forever joint, I believe it is, these two right here hit completely different notes and absolutely can be interchangeable when it comes to the hot weather. But this new release, next one. Bro, the new Elysium? That oh intense? Bro, stupid. Rue 
Barb Freshness. Bam! Listen to me. It's not a cheap fragrance. It doesn't smell cheap. This shit's got balls. The freshness in here is so lively and amazing. It, uh, bam, look at the pimpy sneaking through. They're not even supposed to make a cameo in this video. There's like 50,000 notes in this scent profile. Rhubarb is what pops up. Citric, green, rhubarb notes is what pops up. Dry muskiness, nice florals, apple, vetiver. This shit is a beautiful, frosted bottle with amazingness inside. Summer's around the corner. I'm going to douse clothing in this shit. And I'm not an oversprayer, but I want to see what kind of energy is coming off this scent profile. Because if it keeps that same big swinging dick in a locker room energy, this shit is going to be a summer, hot, weather, freshy, staple piece. I guarantee it. Next one. Tequila in a bottle. Well, not tequila, agave, when you're fucking with the precious liquids blue agave. It's blue agave. I know tequila comes from the agave plant, right? Something like that. It's fucking tequila, fam, okay? Tequila, salt, citric, agave, that's what it is. The freshness and boozy factor in here is beautiful. This is a fragrance I kind of slept on when I first got it. I liked it, but it didn't drive me crazy. Bro, I did not give this shit a chance. And it coincidentally, it happened to be, I had like a few precious liquid sample packs and I had it thrown in my whip. And I was like, what the hell is blue? I needed something. I didn't have anything on or whatever I had on completely dissipated. I had it in my little man bag in my car and I'm like, ah, oh, let me just spray this shit. And I just sprayed it on. Didn't even think much about it. The opening didn't do shit for me. I was like, all right, I just needed something on. I'm walking around throughout the day. And at one moment I was like, damn, somebody smells nice. And I'm looking around and I'm like, hmm. And then I got a whiff of my shirt, like on some corner shit. And I'm like, oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. What the fuck am I wearing? It was blue agave. I slept on the shit. I didn't give it much attention. And the shit ended up being beautiful. That's what happens to people like me. If I don't test some shit or I shit on it, the first, I'm flippy floppies like that. This is what happens with fragrance. That's how it is. Cuba flip flops on the regular. Who cares? I admit it. This shit is fucking great for the summer. Try it out, next one. I've mentioned this on a couple of videos as one of the best performing freshy fragrances in my lineup, and that's Re Revue Obsidian. This one's got notes of like pineapple, uh, citron, rosemary, sandalwood, cardamom, and something else. This shit is a blue fragrance with body. It's not your traditional fresh out of the shower scent profile with a mysterious element about it that's absolutely gorgeous. The citron definitely helps offset any pineapple Aventus-ish type notes that somebody may misconstrue. But what you start to get out of here is slight petty grain vibes, slight, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it really complements this fragrance well. Petty grain is not listed in the notes, but I get elements of petty grain. I also get this underlying green genus type note in this fragrance as well, but it has also very punchy sandalwood and patchouli-ish vibes that give it this grittiness and this earthiness to the scent profile. Maybe it's those elements that help with the performance of this scent profile being a bluish type fragrance that isn't heavy on the aquatics. Rivia Obsidian is a performance grenade for the hot weather, completely beautiful. The right amount of citrus, the right amount of grit, the right amount of fruitiness, the right amount of balls. Let's not forget the exclusivity factor. <laughs> Some reason this fragrance gives me Mr. Softy vibes. They're going to the bodega, going to the freezer that has my ice crystals on it, trying to push the door open because it's frozen to get your little icy cup with the wooden spoon because you're hitting that Jimmy Choo Man ice vibes all day. For me, this screams freshy, summertime, Mr. Softy or Bodega Pete's freezer with the little Italian icy cup. Mm. How many videos are there on this fragrance? A thousand of them. Why? Because it's incredible in the hot weather. It's beautiful, it's citric, it's limey, but the woods and green in here is crazy. That's why for me, it just screams the icy. So it's the whole experience. It's the scraping of the little lemon icy out of the thing with the wood spoon. So you get the wood spoon. So you get that combination of like that icy 
and the wood. All that, it's, it's just kind of this visceral childhood memory that I get from this scent profile. This shit is sexy as fuck for the hot weather. These two seasons and that's it. Something when there's like 60 something plus is the only time you can rock this fragrance. So if you're in warmer climates, that this might be a signature scent for you. For me, this shit only pops up like a groundhog. But to see here and say that this shit is in fire, you're bugging. And finally, the Gin and Tonic New Beast in Town from M. Mika Left at G and Tonic. Tonic Water Cocktail. Gin and Tonic. Tangare and tonic. This shit is stupid, fam. Oh my god. Bro, tangare, fizzy, tonic, mint, sugary. Oh. Tangare, tonic, fizziness. That's that's all you need to know. Garnished with a fucking piece of mint. This is so invigorating and honestly it's such a beautiful bubbly sensation that I get off this skin. And I don't know if everybody's gonna experience that same energy, but I 100% get the tonic water action out of this shit. As a person who enjoys a little bit of tonic water in a cocktail when I deviate from my whiskeys, I get it a thousand percent. This shit is so fucking nice off the skin and I can't wait to just spray my asshole with this in the summertime because it's gonna be musty. So these are 10 with one honorable mention, amazing freshy fragrances that you need to be rocking. Let's bring back the classics like the Burberry fam. Stop disrespecting the OGs. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Let me know what videos you guys wanna see next and leave it in the comment below. Let me know what your ultimate freshy fragrances are in the comments. Give me a list of 10. And if there's a lot of similar fragrances, I will make a video about your responses. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smell boo 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 mooches. <laughs>